what happens in tunnels, right? <laughs> Any dips right here? I haven't gotten down this far. No, it's okay, it's okay. Welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. Today we have one of the goats. What's up, dude? Guys? Hung. <laughs> thank you so much for making the time, man. Seriously, Anytime, I appreciate. Bro, I know you're busy, sure. um, but thank you so much, man. What do you drive? So today, it's my 2000 Civic EK with a bunch of spoon goodies, I guess. A spoon goodies, yeah, <laughs> man. I mean, it's funny you say today because you do have a lot of other cars, a lot of cool cars over the years. First time I met you, you had a, a very, very clean EG. Um, and then you got like a DA or you got some other stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Those DA. don't matter, right? The <laughs> DAs don't matter. I'll say it. <laughs> but, DAs but, are cool. But this one's, you know, this is amazing. But before we get into this beautiful build, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Like, when do you remember thinking like, man, I like cars. This is a hobby that I want to pursue. Yeah, I would say, as a kid, uh, like playing with RC cars and stuff like okay. that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My mom got me the first RC car and I was like stuck on that. Couldn't sleep at night, you know, just trying to get it to run, put what all the parts of, What kind of RC it. was it? It was a Tamiya. Okay. It was like a little like, I think it was like a GTR or some shit like that. I don't oh, know. Oh, but it was like, like, like a, like a, school, like, okay, like gotcha. Tamiya. And uh, yeah, dude, that's when I, from there I was like, okay, grew up high school, saw all these like, my bros, cousins and stuff, having the Hondas and Toyotas actually. And I just fell in love. Yeah, so what was the first car cars. that you, you, you wanted? Like you were like, man, I wish this was my first car. It was an EG. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And I actually got the EG. You got rid of it. Okay, as long as yeah. it didn't get stolen. Yeah, it didn't get stolen. Yeah, okay, gotcha. but got rid of it, yeah. And so as time progresses, do you, do you still stick with a uh, Honda Japanese or do you kind of? Mostly Hondas, yeah, all okay. my life up till now, yeah. Had a couple Toyotas. Uh, I had a pickup, uh, Tacoma, Forerunners, obviously. Okay. I have one now, third gen. But yeah, mostly Toyotas and Hondas. Yeah, because you're just an yeah. automotive nut. You have a whole bunch of stuff, you know? Yeah. And the cool things that you showed me today. Thanks, man. It was <laughs> fun. I was able to sit yeah. in a little tiny truck. <laughs> oh, yeah, my K truck. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure I look like a clown, you know, inside <laughs> that, but that's cool, man. Okay. So as we move forward with it, Bam, the EK, when does this idea kind of start? Where did you get the car? So I got this car about, I would say, four years ago. Okay. And uh, shout out to my boy Manny. He actually uh, had the car and I asked him, if you ever sold the car, give me first dibs on it. Mm -hmm. Because I knew that he took good care of it and it was a Tafeta, because Tafeta whites, uh, so the EK, only comes white in the year 2000. Right. So, and I love the color white, so I needed to have a Tafeta white EK, and uh, he kept this promise and sold me the car. Wow. Sold me the car. And uh, right away, I took it to, I like I was like, okay, I'm gonna take it to, I stripped it and took it straight to paint. Whoa. Because I already had a vision of what I wanted to do to this car. Speaking of and which, was, what was the vision? The vision was not, nothing like this. No, for sure. really? Nothing like this. <laughs> So what? the vision was, okay, I'm going to build a budget white EK okay. uh, for the track. Because Yeah. And I was like, the, the EK is cool because I was like, I'm going to throw a K-swap in it. You don't have to chop any mounts. You know, Hasport makes like, Hasport uh, innovated. They make mounts that bolt right onto the, 
the, the, the, chassis. the chassis mm -hmm. so you don't have to cut and do any welding or anything like that so i was like okay i'm gonna get this car get it painted make it look halfway decent run you know te's of course because it's the track you know what i mean Shocker. throw throw some recar throw one recaro in there just keep it really simple and have fun on the track and then when i got it painted and i went and i when i got it back actually i was like holy crap this thing looks badass like super clean so then i was like ah, i'm gonna get spoon wheels because i think i look good with the black mountains and one thing <laughs> led to another now i got everything what you see here now you know what i mean and i don't even want to track this thing it's so cool you know? I, I wouldn't track yeah. it yeah i wouldn't track it it's, it's really cool man but yeah okay so that's how it started that's how it started yeah man <laughs> So, Crazy. but like, okay, how do you start from the spoon wheels and then what kind of led to you saying, let me continue with the spoon theme because you could have stopped at the wheels. What happened? Like, did, did you see a car around? Well, the thing is with, with this, with my vision, I wanted to keep it USDM. That was the one thing that I wanted to keep the car like. Interesting. Not, I wanted to keep it USDM like um, how it came off the lot mm -hmm. basically like a dx so this would be a, a civic dx okay or cx because it doesn't, doesn't have a windshield wiper i mean a rear windshield wiper so this would be a a cx they had black moldings they kept the door handles black mm -hmm. uh black side skirts you know some people like they like to paint those things I because kept it those all were the lower trims and the, the lowest that, the lowest trim yeah it's funny how like you you spend all these time and money and resources to make it so clean but you kept that black and it's almost like yeah. you know you know i love that and then and, and and with the spoon thing it's like it looks like a panda type build right black and white mm -hmm. and then so i was like you know the oh the carbon fiber hood would be cool on a track car so got the spoon hood <laughs> track car which we'll never see the <laughs> and <track>. then <laughs> and then i was like oh you know i have to have the ctr headlights <laughs> and then <laughs> oh man and then it just kept going and going and actually my buddy uh a b he was like hey why don't you just try to get this thing certified that's a whole different thing I'll, I'll, and we'll discuss we'll, we'll get, and we'll, we'll get, get there that yeah we'll Which get is, that because now that's a crazy thing that's what i'm saying don't don't track the car it's it's now it's like a little time capsule <laughs> yeah i should just should stay i should just buy a a, a beater and and track that maybe yeah. maybe maybe you know but somebody I, I, that knows I somebody hard, i have a hard time keeping it like not having a clean I, I don't, car i don't think you're gonna have an issue finding another car that you can swap <laughs> something into but well let's start talking about this beautiful car okay so you said the car was repainted right away yeah uh in your ownership um and now was that repainted uh did you take out the motor and everything you sprayed inside and out or just the outside <sighs> yeah so like i said earlier i stripped the whole car to bare metal whoa like it was there was nothing on here i even took off the uh the subframe uh no suspension was on the car engine was out ripped out all the electrical ripped out all the brake lines ripped out everything there was nothing Man. on this car so inside out basically is uh, what we did yeah <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> and so for the front end tell us what have you done to it what changes have you made okay so front end um we have ctr headlights ctr grill uh stock i mean uh not stock sorry a spoon hood a phantom eg first molding lip beautiful wow. and stock fenders damn such a great combination of the carbon fiber with the yeah the reason why there's not a spoon lip is because spoon never made a lip for a 992000 they only made lips for 96 to 98 so Oh, so you have to change the so I for just, that. you know, I wanted a carbon fiber and that lip had a one by one weave, which matches my hood and my mirrors and my wing. So I went no with way. that. No yeah. way. Oh, that's a cool thing. And I, 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 I like to ride low. I like to ride low. So, you know, I, this is like my third lip. So, <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Well, not the fact that you're cracking them, but uh, yeah. yeah, I love that you stay with your stands. Yeah. Yeah. You got to. I think that's the one of the most important things about you can have any car but if it if the stance is not right it just don't hit the same you know yeah i get you yeah okay. for sure speaking of stance suspension pieces what have you upgraded so suspension is on full pci with wow. spoon coilovers spoon coilovers yeah spoon coilovers. oh wow yeah so <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of people buy those but <laughs> yeah i know because there's a lot of different op op like mm. good options you know but obviously you know the theme, so it's on spoon coilovers, Procar Innovative, uh, lower control arms, K 
camber kits, tie rod ends, um, spoon, uh, what is it, extended ball joints, spoon brake lines. Yeah, pretty much all everything the bushes, been everything, yeah, everything has been touched. Mm -hmm. Wow. There is not a single bolt on this car that hasn't been touched or changed. And I truly believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can show you. Knowing you, I believe you, man. Believe you. And That's... the fender liners are actually all brand new too. Because I kept the fender you liners kept the in fender there. the fender liner? Yeah. So are the... Yeah, so the fenders are uh, rolled. Interesting. Well, you still by have Mr. It. Sexy himself. Ah, oh, shout out to David. Okay. Shout out to David, yeah. Takes care of all the cars. Ah, okay, um, but you still have a fender liner. I still have the so you fender have a cool liner. Little trick to kind of keep it up there. Yeah, and, and you know, like when you're, you, like, I don't like seeing like the holes in between the tires and the bumper. Uh -huh. You know, like how like you can see through it. Like on my course, yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> just say it. <laughs> on the course, man. Yeah, <laughs> Gus gotta get himself an EK. Hey, hey, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. It. I'm trying. I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Braking system, obviously. Braking, yeah. So it's on a five lug conversion from the CTR on uh, spoon twin blocks, spoon lug nuts. Uh, the axles are um, insane shaft. Oh, nice. Rated to eight, 800 horsepower, but this thing's got way less than that. So. What, 750? <laughs> <laughs> and then the wheel and tire setup? What, what's back? Wheel and tire setup, uh, spoon, SW. 388s, uh, 15835 offset, and the tires I'm running is a 225 4515 on NTO1s. And everybody just took their notepads and they're getting out of the yeah, video. Yeah, I get a lot and of And they're about to exactly. order. I get they're a like, lot of people. That's all I needed. I can't logo, afford the rest of the, the parts, fitment, but yeah. I'm going to go for those. A lot bikes. of people ask me about Will Fitment. Man. That spec is perfect. And the tire setup that you have, it just it goes yeah, so nice. Yeah, it's nicely. meaty. It's it looks like slick you know it's perfect man. it's pretty cool rear pad rear spoon pads too <laughs> front and rear pads spoon ah, i see the little logo there and the color yeah wow. it's pretty cool how they have the little swan thing on that's there. so rad dude <laughs> man you all the little things that you got you know, above and beyond man it's just so beautiful and then the back what do we have the back we got the spoon <clears throat> duck bill uh this is one of my favorite things right here because these were brand new EK9 JDM CTR tail lights. You so had you, to open them by yourself? Yeah, so if you Oof. look in here, it's like all still clean. If you look at a lot of uh, tail lights on EKs, they're either cracked or like, you know. Fogged up? Fogged up. And this is the JDM one because it doesn't have the reflector right there. So it's. Wow. Yeah, so. But I've never known. <laughs> That's so cool, yeah. dude. Kept the back pretty simple. OEM like plate holder and uh, yeah. Stock. Besides the, uh, I got mud guards, but stock pretty much stock everything in the rear. Yeah, of course, I would be that weird guy who's like, you just told me all these crazy cool parts. Uh huh. Uh, the the win the, the actual glass is this the OEM one or you replaced it? Yes, sir. You see right there, OEM. Damn. All glass came off the car too. I, all I windows, figured. all glass came off the car during paint. So. All the yeah, weather stripping, all the moldings were all replaced. And you're gonna do all this for a track car? <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Can you imagine what you're doing? That whole track, thing, that car, track talk after half the things <laughs> I got, I was like, okay, no more track car. Dude. Let's just cars and coffee this thing. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. And then tell us about the exhaust system. What do you have going on? The exhaust <laughs> system is a uh, spoon N1 uh, header back. Okay. So, wow. Yeah, the so thing. the B pipe, the <clears throat> axle back, everything is spoon. <laughs> yeah I mean I, I don't even want to ask but is there any plans for the outside the outside uh, no I think this is it yeah I agree yeah it has a uh, no one would know but it has JDM thin side moldings too because I, I like know, I, I like the thin moldings I kept, you kept black, the black. Yep, yeah kept there the you black. go see that's that's, that's how it came out of the box <clears throat> yeah I didn't I didn't do anything to it and most people would want to paint match that and the door handle so it's like oh it doesn't yeah, look like it's, it's the lowest base it's, model yeah because <clears throat> I felt like if I did all that it'll It'll be more like a Type R clone, and I didn't want to do that. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. But to each their own. I mean, I love the EK9, you know? But I just felt like, I, I would look on the internet, and I wouldn't see like just a, a stock D or CX type of like, mm -hmm. you know? Everybody painted Everything matches. was like, everything, someone's either painted the door handles, or the side skirts, or the moldings. Mm -hmm. But... I kept it how it came out of the dealer, you know, with a bunch of spoon goodies, basically.
excited, you know? I'm glad somebody has a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is all, this is NA, dude, so. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, my favorite VTEC crossover, and that proves oh, it. It's dude, so good. It's loud, huh? Careful, there's a dip there, because I don't want you to um, go. Let's go flying, bro. No, like, no. Who cares? It's okay. <laughs> Gave thumbs up from the guy next to us. Did he? Nice. Yes. Oh, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. <laughs> of course. Okay, because I'm just We're wondering. going speed limit right now. Uh, okay. I was like 35. It just feels like it's really no fast, but it's not. It's a Honda. It's loud. It's a Honda. Yeah, it's just, it's gutted. For the fact that it's gutted, it, it, it has PCI goodies. Like, it doesn't... It's, that's what I mean. I've been trying to tell people. And the spring rates is like 16 front, 16K in the front and 14 in the rear. So no way. really stiff. Yeah. That's how the Japanese like to drive, I guess. But it's for, it's, it's spec for tra tracking, so... Careful yeah, with the dim. Yeah. Don't worry, man. We got some new lips coming. <laughs> Do a little downshift for you. Tunnel. You know what happens at tunnels, right? <laughs> Any dips right here? I haven't gotten down this far. No, 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 no. steering too by the way I saw that yeah it, it, why uh, I just it's easier to drive more comfortable <laughs> why not because we can because you can yeah because we can Man. for how stiff the suspension is I right? don't feel it exactly it's planted you feel planted like you know wow yeah I mean spoon spoon makes good parts they I can bet. work on the carbon fiber a little bit careful, though. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, yeah, a cord. Oh, I had to be the cord. It had to be the cord. It had to be the cord. We don't claim that for us. We don't claim it. You gotta make God. it right. It's killing my tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the interior, you don't mind? Oh, the interior? Hung. Let's there's, see there's what we no got interior, going on. man. I noticed that. Well, you got lazy after I came back from painting. She's <laughs> like, all right, we're not gonna yeah. do this anymore. So, with the interior, uh, <clears throat> I got the spoon steering wheel, um, work spell hub, and it's the, the one that tilts. Mm, nice. Um, I just recently acquired the uh, spoon cluster. Which, Shout out. Which I, I, I yeah. hear that that's a hard piece to find. It is very, it's very hard and it's expensive. <laughs> we won't <laughs> ask you, we won't ask you, don't worry. Um, but yeah, shout out to Jose for helping me get that. Type R Jose it is. And um, K-Tune shifter, spoon shift knob, uh, spoon seats, the Scroth six point harness, um, PCI sliders, uh, base, and then I have spoon uh, seat brackets. Uh, in the rear we have the auto power roll bar four point uh paint match to uh my car wow so it's tafeta white um yeah and that's pretty much oh yeah the floorboards are from race bread wow. spoon rear strut tower <clears throat> beautiful piece you have in the back yeah the interior i have some plans for the interior uh i want to do something with the door panels and uh a little stuff in the rear but overall you're good overall yeah it's it's pretty much analog <laughs> i love that man nothing really digital in there 
<laughs> 7,000 kilometers on the spoon cluster. Too. Notice that? Notice that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Man. Wow. I mean, there's nothing I can say, man. There's just, this <laughs> thing is so mad. I'm just, You've always shown love, Gus. I appreciate you, man. Don't tell people I like civics, but <laughs> this one is, oh my God, this is above and beyond, dude. Just what you've done and like the seats, everything is in mint, mint condition. Like if the video could show really how mint the the weaving in the back of the Kevlar, like everything, it's just this car is very, very clean. Wow. I love like have you added the, the certain plastics, there's certain parts of the plastics like the center console or the sails mm -hmm. that you've added, but you kept the car like gutted. And that's that's cool, you know? Um, man. It's super gutted though, but like it's so weird that you did all this and then kept the D D16 or whatever that comes with, <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah. Stock DX, I mean CX swap. <laughs> well, let's talk about the power uh, engine if you don't. Um, yeah, should I pop the hood? I think so, because okay, yeah, yeah, otherwise we'll uh, they won't believe you. <laughs> and the internet people, they're very, very strict about this. They gotta see it. And even when they see it, they don't believe it. All right, let's do let's it. See. Everybody get ready to get disappointed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can't afford K. <laughs> you can afford a spoon cluster, but you can't afford K. That's what you're telling me, Hunk? Pretty much, man. <laughs> K is the way, but B is the best, baby. Oh, oh, oh that's a new slogan right well, there. Well, the reason why I went B <laughs> in this one is because I just like how the B looks in, like, you know, the 90s, like, Hondas, I guess. I have you know, seen just... the way the K's look in this, too? I have. <laughs> I don't know. A guy named Daniel? Has yeah, a no, ready no, Daniel. K. He has a K. He K should show you his car because, uh, <laughs> you know, it looks nice. Yeah, no. Uh, oh. So this right here, our, my power plant basically is a B18 C5. Oh. It's a USDM Type R swap. I mean, yeah, Type R swap. It's an R dot, so it didn't come in a car. It's a crate motor. Wait, 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 wait. Can, can you just repeat that because <laughs> the people in the back did not get it yeah so this this motor this long block um the block in the head came from honda like if you were to go into the parts department and bought a type r engine that's <laughs> so it didn't it didn't come in a car so this if, is actually if like this was a video game it would be <laughs> level reach end of the game yeah wow and, yeah walk me through that if you don't mind sharing the story because i don't know i just if you what's that how do you just do did you just walk into honda and got one or how if you don't yeah, mind so sharing back the story? then back then you can walk into honda and buy i'm not talking like about the, back then sir i'm talking about now how did you do this oh. that's the secret man that's what we're wondering we, uh well a buddy of mine had the motor and um he pretty much like said hey it was you, just chilling yeah it was just chilling and he was like <laughs> I'll hook you up with this this motor, Bro, you know. You know like, how then, like that's yeah. that's so cool. And I saved it for the perfect chassis, basically. And you, you know, found and, it. And and yeah, and <clears throat> I, it got turned into this thing. Boys and girls, yes, that just happened. That's so <laughs> cool. Wow. I'm so sorry I cut you off, but I, I need <laughs> I needed to know like, <sighs> yeah, and people need to know that now that I understand a little bit more about it. Yeah. That's that's incredible dude sorry okay so b18 c5 right yeah you said? b18 c5 okay i'm assuming stock internals everything has to yes. from factory yeah because it's a redhead you know it's a type bar so i kept it factory reliable and yeah. it's still more than enough power okay uh transmission transmission is a 4.7 uh itr tranny itr mm -hmm. yeah okay very very beautiful um i see spoon cables for the, for the, the plugs? The, yeah, plug wires are spoon. What? Radiator is spoon. Wow. Spoon oh, header, so as like I said before, is a spoon header. Spoon radiator hoses. Spoon intake. Now, off camera, you mentioned, oh, my car is not that special. BS. <laughs> You're like, it's stuff that you can find. Yeah, good luck finding a freaking crate motor. But anyway, <laughs> but like, what you, your idea was that like, you can still find like spoon, radiator, yeah, yeah. hoses, and things like that. Yes. <laughs> uh, I love how modest you are, but no, dude, your car is not just something you can just build, no problem. Like, this is freaking shout awesome. Shout out to Mike. He, he had these like OEM uh, power steering. I was going to get to things, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to get to that, man. Like, it's a spoon motor and I'm yeah. like, you know, geeking out over the and, little and, stickers. And, and with the brakes also, this is a Type R uh, 
booster and a Type R master cylinder. So it's a one inch. Oh, wow. Oh, nice lines. Who did the lines? Oh, yeah. So Aaron from AB Auto Works. Shout out to Aaron. He bent my uh, brake lines and clutch line. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's, okay, gotcha. Wow. Spoon uh, strut bar, Hasport mounts. Dude, I'm geeking out over this. And it's so clean too. Like very, Thank very you. well taken care of. And you just scrub the, the block of the transmission and everything, right? You didn't spray no, it? No, I didn't spray it. It's out. That's <clears> all <throat> OEM. I like that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of room here. Maybe a snail can go there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add AC. <laughs> You're going to add, for real? Yeah, I'm going to add AC. Oh, that's cool. Oh. AC in a gutted Honda. That's like the best. <laughs> Uh, I went with the AEM fuel rail to keep it old school. Okay. Plugs still, uh, I mean, uh, injectors are still OEM yeah, size? Yeah, all OEM. Okay. Okay, wow. Uh, I'm not even going to ask about future plans because it shouldn't be. <laughs> Correct? Yeah, yeah. I don't, besides the, the AC, I don't think there is, yeah. I'm going to keep it very, like, just <clears throat> spoon themed. Okay. Now, speaking of spoon theme, I, I also see the sticker that you had. Wait, it's not a sticker. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, I think that I haven't, I haven't interviewed anybody with that. So can you please explain what this means for the boys and girls? Yeah, so that's a certified, certified um, plaque from Spoon. So when I was building the car, I built a pretty good relationship with uh, Spoon USA and um, you know, it was just like they, they have a record of everything you've got from them mm -hmm. and uh, they've obviously seen the car and uh, it's not something that you can call them and be like, certify hey, my car. Uh, can you certify my car? Correct. So their thing is uh, it's invitational. So they Beautiful. actually gave me a call. Uh, it was like on a Saturday afternoon, really random. You're cleaning your car. Yeah. And, and I got a call from Tommy. Shout out Tommy. Um, he was like, hey we're ready to certify your car i was like what no way you know it was like caught me off guard and i was like when he's like well we're we're not work we don't work on the weekend so come come through on sun tomorrow which was a sunday and um yeah i canceled everything <laughs> got out there in orange and he didn't uh, make it to church that day guys. yeah i didn't make it to church <clears throat> that day and yeah he blessed me with a vinta i mean a serial number uh, now if i'm not mistaken they have their own metric and by the way 08144 belongs to you which is amazing yes. i love it dude that's so special honestly that i'm able to <laughs> no seriously you have no idea i'm like all jokes aside i'm very extremely humbled that i'm able to have this car on our platform like seriously you have no idea <laughs> you think i'm just playing no man I, I love the fact that you're very humbled but the fact that i have the opportunity to future a car that has been certified by spoon here it, it, it goes beyond like that's you know definitely ultimate freaking goal um that i never even knew existed that's for me and now cool. here we are but Thank spoon you, uh i'm assuming they not only just bind the parts but they have like a certain metric on what they're looking for in a car right i believe so yeah okay, yeah so you, you weren't even told that I, yeah I you just said hey mm -hmm. come in and so then they they, <clears throat> they did that for you that's crazy wow well Shout out to Spoon for doing that because that's yeah, super shout special. Yeah, to Spoon for sure. Yeah, and the fact that, like you mentioned, people can still buy some of these parts. It's a 2000, we're into 2024. Mm -hmm. um, and you can still buy some parts off the shelf. Yep. Amazing. So, man, shout out to Spoon. So, no, no future plans. We're done. Aside from the AC. Yeah, for for under the hood, I, I think so, yeah. Man, I, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything, but this car is immaculate. I, I think you've nailed it out of the park <laughs> and... We're so blessed to have you on, on this side of the States, man. And the I know, country yeah. and the world, dude. Like, this is cool. This is really, really rad. I do, you know, I do want to get this car in the, to the East Coast. I don't know when, but I'd love to share it with the people out there, too. I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be cool for you yeah. to go out there and just hang out, man. For now, stays on the best side of the, of the country. <laughs> the yeah, I said coast. it. <laughs> West Coast, baby. Alrighty, Hung, thank you so much for making the time for us, dude. Seriously, um, out of all the stuff that you have, I think the, the 
the thing that's the most special to me is a certification um, because you're not going to find that in any other car you can find all the other parts the wheels the tires the maybe the, the cluster maybe the cluster but other than that man that that certification i think um it's a recognition of your hard work your dedication you. and the fact that you actually appreciate the brand for what it is and so that goes a long way man you know thank you so much because <laughs> yeah, you could have easily spent all this money mm -hmm. on a freaking bmw or whatever yeah but for sure the fact that you did on a spoon civic um you know theme car it, it's it's amazing so thank you so much for the time man any shout outs yeah well shout out to gus for making time and you know showing the car um to my boys from doghouse garage you know gotta show them love boss projects um any ones that ever shared or posted my car i appreciate you guys a lot um everyone that's helped me do anything on the car sourcing parts tommy go uh from spoon usa uh, auto image vit uh photos by tin you know shooting my car um uh, yeah i'm sure i'm forgetting a lot of people yeah. but man everyone that's actually showed love i appreciate everybody definitely yeah, man for sure well thank you so much for the time and the opportunity man it's been um I, I, I've been wanting to shoot your car for a bit, but you're busy. But you've always been super respectful and supportive, and I really appreciate that, man. Seriously. Yeah, I'm glad so. we made this happen, man. No, thank you oh, for yeah. making it happen, man. I, I definitely appreciate it, and so I think a lot of us are gonna get uh, motivate, you know, mo get motivation from this. Cool. And uh, yeah, just don't tell people I like Civics, bro. Come on, <laughs> don't start bad rumors. But I love All this right. Civic, man. Hey, but the goal, let's get Gus in the EK, baby. <laughs> <laughs> K is not the way. You can go B too. You know, it's just as good. Just as good? Just, uh, nah, just? Uh, just? <laughs> just? No, nah, but hey, K, just? Is, K is the way. K is the way, but yeah, B is the best? I thought it was B, B is the king, but B is best. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll best. stick with that. <laughs> hey, this one B for sure, no K in this ever, please. <laughs> for man. sure, yeah. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity, man. Thank you for the time. And uh, yeah, man, can't wait to see what you and Doc has, uh, you know, have in store. All right, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Spoon header. I uh, want three of them. <laughs> I want three of them. And one of different colors. Wow. <laughs> Man. Oh, see, it's like, you know, it drives nice. It's like pretty chill, right? It's so good. Ah, you have a lot of fun there. You know? Gotta have fun, baby. Man. So you never track in this car? I'm gonna track out the 26. No, don't. <laughs> Why are you tracking this car? Don't. We'll we'll do what we just did there, but on the track. No. It's safer that way, right? It is safer, but we won't have accords blocking us. <laughs> we will have your people blocking us. Damn. Why couldn't it be a civic, man? <laughs> um, no, it's not about that. It's just about like you want this car to stay preserved. It will. I mean, it's not a daily, so we're good there. Nine K, baby. Nine thousand red lights. Oh shit. Neutral, 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 <laughs> no, neutral. neutral. He's he's a cool cop. <laughs> Did he come in this way? Well, he's behind me. <laughs> but I think I've seen those guys before. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay. Stay back there. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can tell, Hung pulled over right off the bat. The office really just, just went to our left side um, and just said, I scared the sh out of you guys, huh? And drove away. Um, that's literally what happened. That's why I was like in super like panic mode. There's Hung checking his lip. There I am. Um, I thought I was recording the lip. I was so nervous that I was recording my face. Um, so yeah, shout out to the cop for, I guess, being understanding. Uh, obviously the car is loud. And so um, definitely appreciate the fact that he just gave us a little scare and that's it, drove away. So if you're watching this, appreciate you. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Hung, for the time. Definitely appreciate it, man. And uh, I'm so, 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 so glad, like I told you, that nothing else happened. And thank you for the time, man.